Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture on mean collision time of molecules in a gas. So here we will find the expression for average time between molecular collisions. That is uh, average time between molecular collision. So let us uh, consider a system of gas like this and it has a uh, gas molecules. So, so, so all, all over the system, the gas molecules are present. Let us consider a particular gas molecule and, uh, and it's, it is traveling at a speed V. So molecular, molecule under consideration, it is traveling at uh, at speed v under consideration so it is traveling at speed v and uh, it collides with other molecules in the system now so let the sigma be the collision cross section collision cross section of the molecule so this sigma we will derive in the next lecture. So for now, consider that sigma is a collision cross-section area. Okay, now in time dt, the molecule that is moving will sweep a volume. So uh, whenever the molecule moves, be, as it has collision cross section area sigma, it will sweep a volume and in time dt, the molecule will, the molecule will sweep a volume sorry, this is sweep a volume that is equal to see uh, how much length it traveled the length of the, the distance traveled by it is v times dt velocity into time into the collision cross section area so this will give the volume sweeped by the molecule in time dt so it is sigma v dt and uh, so if if there is a molecule if there is another molecule in this volume then it will collide with it. So now if suppose n number of molecule, suppose the number of molecules per unit volume. Per unit volume is equal to n. Then the, the prob collision probability will be directly proportional to the n. So here uh, the probability of collision in this volume, that is the probability of collision this is equal to n times of this volume in sigma v t t. Now, so now let us so here let us define that uh, p of t it is the probability of a molecule of a molecule uh, not colliding up to time t. And uh, so then P of T plus dt. So it is a probability that a molecule is not colliding up to time t and also in the subsequent 
time interval dt. So this is the probability of a molecule. So multiplied by uh, multiplied by not colliding. In subsequent time date. Okay, so then P of T plus this is equal to or oh, here the probability of molecule not following up to time t p of t this is multiplied by the probability of not colliding in time dt so here the probability of collision in time dt is equal to this value then not colliding is 1 minus of this value so it will be equal to 1 minus n sigma v dt and uh, by standard integrals uh, of probability this p of t plus dt this will be is equal to p of t plus dt by dt into dt so this is from Elemental characters. Now these two are equal, so we can write like so. Let's uh, So when we equate these two, we get like P of T I'm taking common, so one plus so here this is basically D P of T by D T. B. No P of T, P of T get cancelled. So, for simplicity, I am writing 1 plus P of T as P. Equal to 1 minus No. If you cancel one and one on both sides as well as dt dt, then we will end up with like dt by dt. So dt dt get cancelled, one one get cancelled, and uh, this will p goes this side, and when we bring this side, it will be uh, n sigma v times p is equal to zero. This is a differential equation that we go. So and uh, so the probability of zero will be one. Like, um, see, at time t is equal to zero, the probability of not colliding will be is equal to one. Therefore, this differential equation will be solved to p of t is equal to e power minus m sigma v dt. So now, uh, the probability of 
molecule surviving without collision up to time t so this is basically p of t and then colliding in subsequent time dt so this will be is equal to uh, p of t times uh, the colliding prob probability that we can see here uh, uh, n sigma v dt so p of t into n sigma v dt now this will is equal to substituting this expression e power minus sigma v dt into n sigma v sorry here it's not dt it's it's t please, please note that here it is e power minus sigma v t and not dt so make that correction and uh, So, average time elapsed between collisions for a molecule or mean scattering time yeah, so this this is tau basically is equal to uh, 0 to infinity t times e power minus n sigma v t uh, into n sigma v dt so here uh, so here we are multiplying with t because we are finding mean scattering time so in the probability, when we find the mean value or expectation, we are going to multiply T with this uh, term or whatever the time uh, about which we have to find the mean of scattering time. So now when we take multiply with this, uh, it is zero to infinity e power minus n sigma vt multiplied by n sigma vt into dt. So let us suppose that uh, n sigma vt is equal to x. Then when we, when we do this differentiation dx by dt, then it will be n sigma v. So from this dt is equal to dx by n sigma v. So we are replacing t with uh, basically t with uh, x and uh, when we change the uh, zero and limits of this zero and infinity so when t is zero then x is also zero when t is infinity x is also infinity so which then becomes zero to infinity e power minus n sigma vt is x so it is e power minus x and uh, n sigma vt is x and dt is dx by n sigma v which i am taking outside which is a constant term so now 
this is equal to 1 by n sigma v and integration of this is a basically on standard integrals it is 0 factorial which is nothing but 1 so we end up getting 1 by n sigma v so the mean scattering time or collision time the mean collision time is equal to 1 by n sigma v now the mean collision time is depending uh, is inversely proportional to uh, number of tau is inversely proportional to 1 by n that is number of molecules per unit volume so more the number of molecules per unit volume the mean collision time will be less and uh, it is also inversely proportional to cross section area when the cross section area is small then the collision that happen will be more we will see how what is the expression for cross section area in the next lecture and from there you can understand why as the cross section area increases the mean collision time will decrease and uh, tau is also inversely proportional to velocity because whenever velocity is more the mean collision time will be less that is more collisions will happen so this is all about mean collision time between uh, uh, molecules in a gas uh, thank you for watching this video if you are watching for the first time please subscribe my channel and uh, see you in the uh, next lecture